for what? Yeah. Come on! Yeah. One, two, three, go! Yeah. So first of all, what does this clubhouse mean for British North End and the local area? Well, um, to be honest with you, it means so much uh, to the young kids and all that. Well, um, it just goes to show how much the club has developed in the last two years since uh, John Agnes has took over as chairman. He's pushed the boat out for, for everything, all these facilities and all that. So praise should go to John, really. How has Rays of End progressed since you first got here? Uh, progressive has been massive. Uh, when I first got, got here, I think we had three teams, maybe four. Now, I think the, the word is we've got about 17, so the progression has been absolutely massive. What can we expect from Reddish North End in the future? Well, hopefully, uh, success. Uh, that's what I'm looking for, success on the pitch. Success off the pitch, if it's possible. Yeah, I'm getting bigger and bigger, and uh, every kid in Stockport want to come in. That's what I'm looking for. Um, more progression, hopefully. Um, like I said, there's things in place for pitches outside and after surfs outside. So hopefully, a lot more progression. Yeah, can I just say this? That uh, it's a privilege for Tommy and myself to be here today and to see this fantastic development in the name of Mike Doyle. So, I mean, some of the young ones probably never saw him play, but he was an exceptional player, a real professional. And if you wanted a guideline to grow up to be, <coughs> Mike Doe would be the person to do that as a professional footballer. And it's a great honour for us to be here today because we were his teammates for a long, long time. And the, uh, I first met him when I was down in Torquay. I was working on the deck chairs, trying to get some extra money in. <laughs> and Mike was there with his pals yeah. and he... When I signed for City, of course, he, he played for City and uh, invited me to Reddish and I stayed with his mum and dad for two or three day, days and he made me feel welcome. And he was, uh, well, he's a very special person, he's a very special person in our hearts and I know that this here today will be, he'll be up there and he'll be so proud of it. Because he's a special man. Thank you very much indeed. What's happened today? Uh, we've opened our new clubhouse today, uh, Reddish North End um, Clubhouse, uh, Mike Doyle Centre, uh, for 17 teams in the local area. What does it mean for Reddish North End in the local area? It means uh, that the girls, particularly, have a, a stable home to play from, uh, with the current FA regulations that the girls need toilet facilities and change facilities, so that gives us an option to do that. Um, it gives us a home base for us to develop and grow. And how has Reddish North End progressed since you became chairman? Since I took over being chairman in the last 18 months, we've grown from having six teams to 17 teams, including four girl, three girls teams and girls training for under nine year old. We have now, through all the work and effort of not just myself, through all the committee and everybody else like that, um, got this brand new million pound building. And finally, what can we expect from Reddish North End in the future? Loads of stars. Mm -hmm.